Till now we have studied about Mealy machines and Moore machines. And from this lecture we will be studying about conversion of Moore machine to Mealy machine. So before we start let us understand that both Moore machines and Mealy machines are equally powerful and one can be converted to the other. That means Moore machine can be converted to Mealy machine and Mealy machine can also be converted to Moore machine. So here we have our question here that is to construct a Moore machine that prints A whenever the sequence 0 1 is encountered in any input binary string and then convert it to its equivalent Mealy machine. So our task is to first design a Moore machine that will print A whenever the sequence 0 1 is encountered in any input binary string and then we will convert it to its equivalent Mealy machine. So this Moore machine have already been designed by us in our previous lecture. So let me quickly design it. So here I have designed the Moore machine for this question. That is it will print A whenever the sequence 0 1 is encountered. So here we have our inputs as 0 1 and we have our outputs as A and B. So we have already done this example. So here we see that we have three states A, B, C and on getting 0 1 this sequence it comes to state C and it prints A. Alright, so this is the transition diagram for that and this is the transition table. We have three states A, B, C and on getting inputs 0 and 1 this is where the states go to and this is the output that it gives. Like for example let's see state A on input 0 state A goes to state B and on input 1 state A goes to A itself. And what is the output associated with state A? It is B. So here we have written B. And in the same way we have done for the states B and C. So this is the Moore machine that we have. And here since this is a Moore machine, the outputs are associated to the states. Like for example here A, B and C. And we have the outputs associated to the states given here. Now our task is to convert this to its equivalent Mealy machine. Now what is the difference between a Moore machine and a Mealy machine? In Moore machine the outputs are associated to the states like given here. But in a Mealy machine the outputs are associated to the transitions. So how shall we change this in such a way that these outputs given here should be associated with the transitions. Okay let's see how we can do this. Coming to the first state we see that in state A we have output B and let's look at the transitions. Here we have 1. Input 1 goes to A and what is the output associated to A? It is B. Now since this 1 is going to state A and since the output associated to state A is B, so this 1 will have the output B associated to it. So in the same way let's see for this 0. 0 is going to state B. And what is the output associated to state B? It is small b. Now since this 0 is going to this b and since the output here is b, so this 0 will have the output small b. Now in the same way let's look at this 0. This is also going to b and what is the output associated to b? It is small b. So we give a small b here. And what about this 1? This 1 is going to c. And what is the output associated to C? It is A. So this one will have the output A. And what about this 0? This 0 is going to this state B which is associated to the output small b. So this 0 will have small b. And look at this one. This one is going to state A. And what is the output associated to state A? It is small b. So this one will have small b. Now this is how you convert it to its equivalent Mealy machine. And now you can remove the outputs that were written in the states. Now we have removed the outputs that were written in the states. Now this is the equivalent Mealy machine for our question. Now let us change even the transition table. Now here the transition table for our Moore machine is given and now let us convert it to the transition table for a Mealy machine. So if you are given the transition table, using the transition table, how can you convert a Moore machine to its Mealy machine? Let's see. So here this is for the Moore machine and we know that in Moore machine the outputs are associated to the states. But in case of Mealy machine the output should be associated to the transitions. So to do this, let's see how we can proceed. Go to state A. In state A, when it gets input 0, it goes to B. Now we have to associate the output to this transition over here. To do that, 
Here we have B, so go to the row of state B and check what is the output associated with state B. It is small b. So here you give a small b. And come to the next one. A on input 1, it goes to A. And what is the output associated to state A? It is small b. So here also I give a small b. Now let's come to this state B. On input 0, it goes to B itself. And what is the output associated to B? It is small b. And on input 1, it goes to state C. And what is the output associated to state C? Come to state C and look. It is A. So here I'll write a A. And come to the last state that is state C. On input 0, it goes to B. And what is the output associated to B? It is small b. So I'll give a small b here and C on input 1 goes to A. And what is the output associated to A? It is small b. So we have now associated the outputs to the transition. And now you can remove this column for output over here. Now when you remove the column of outputs from that Moore machine and when you associate the outputs to the transition, that becomes the transition table for your Mealy machine. So this is how you convert a Moore machine to its Mealy machine. I have showed you the way how to do it using the transition diagram and also the transition table. So I hope it was clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.